Okay, so hello again, guys. So yesterday we were talking about karyotype and what's the definition of a karyotype in general. And we talked about the difference between the karyotype of a male and a karyotype of a female. Today we're going to talk about the abnormalities that occur in the karyotype. Um, we have, as we said before, um, abnormalities that might occur in number and abnormalities that might occur in structure. When we say in number, it means that there might be a missing chromosome or an extra chromosome presented in the karyotype. And this problem that occurs in the number of chromosomes, it might be in the autosomes or it might be in gonosomes. If it's in autosomes, it could be free trisomy 21 or translocated trisomy 21. And trisomy 21 is a disease also known as Down syndrome. And now we're going to talk later on about the characteristics of persons having trisomy 21 or Down syndrome. When I say translocated trisomy 21, it means that there is an extra copy of chromosome 21, but it is as if um, it's stuck to another chromosome. Whereas in the gonosomes, we have two types of um, diseases. We have the Turner syndrome and the Klinefelter syndrome. Let's talk about each syndrome by itself. When I say trisomy 21 from the name, Trisomy, it means that we have three copies of chromosome number 21 instead of two. And this means that there is an extra chromosome for that reason. If we look at the chromosomal formula, we see here it is 47, whereas in the normal cases it is 20, 46, um, 23 pairs, making it um, 46, the normal individuals. Here, when we write the number of chromosomes, comma, and then we write X and Y, it means that we are representing the chromosomal formula of either a male or a female having Down syndrome. Definitely here, since we wrote XY, it means that um, the person having trisomy 21 in this case is a male. Whereas if we wrote 47 comma XX, it means that uh, the person having trisomy 21 is a female. Now, the translocated um, um, trisomy 21 also have the same chromosomal formula, which is 46, um, uh, comma, um, XY with translocated, definitely it's a male here, 14, 21, because the 21 here, the third copy, is attached to chromosome number 14. For that reason, they call it translocated. And now, a long time ago, I mean, when I was in grade 9, we used to write the chromosomic formula in different cases. So, so if you, see, you guys see it in um, old versions of guides or something, like 2n equals uh, the number plus xx or plus xy, now it's different. Now it's enough to write the number, whether it is normal, 46, xy, or abnormal, having a problem like here. We write it in between brackets and we write the number, then we write comma XY or XX or depending on whether it is a male or a female. Now, we have two diseases related to gonosomes. We have the Turner syndrome and we have the Klinefelter syndrome, um, named after the um, scientist. I don't know if it was a scientist. Um, uh, his family name was Klinefelter. I, I don't remember. I forgot. Uh, the Turner syndrome, it's characteristic, as you, see, as you see from the chromosomic formulas, that we have only an X chromosome, one copy instead of two copies. For that reason, as we see here, the number of chromosomes is 45 and not 46. It's missing one chromosome. And the chromosome missing is in the gonosome, actually. So we write 45 comma X and O. It means that there should be a chromosome here, but there is not making it abnormal female. The Klinefelter, uh, the Klinefelter syndrome, um, having an extra X chromosome in the sex chromosome or the gonosome, making its formula 47. 47, it means that there is an extra copy of chromosome. So we write 47 comma XX1. Let's look at the characteristics now of persons having trisomy 21. The symptoms of these persons, um, they have oblique eyes, their fingers are short, they suffer from mental retardation, and, and sometimes some cardiac problems. We took in heart, what's the meaning of cardiac, so it means uh, problems related to the heart. Um, whereas the Turner syndrome, females um, that have Turner syndrome, they're stellar, sterile most probably, and they do have mental retardation as well. Some of them uh, die early at puberty, and they do not continue their life. And Klinefelter syndrome, 
these males are also sterile due to undeveloped male and female gonads. Why, do, why are they males? Because of the presence of the Y chromosome, but they do have female characteristics because of the extra X chromosome. Now, talking about problems or abnormalities in the karyotype that are in structure, such as the Credo Shah, it's French here. The name is French. Uh, Shah is the cat. Uh, why? Because they say that people suffering from this disease, they have uh, a problem in the voice as if they're uh, making the voice of the cat. Um, so it's due to loss of fragment of one copy of chromosome number five. So if part of the chromosome is missing, um, these uh, humans also suffer from mental retardation and as we said, the problems in the voice and larynx uh, function. Um, let's see now, let's talk uh, about the characteristics of the, um, the people having Down syndrome. So individuals with Down syndrome or trisomy 21, they may have some or all of the following physical characteristics, which, which is, or which are, um, abnormally a small chin, their eyes are bleak, almond-shaped eyes, um, on the inner corner of the eyes, they have poor muscle tone, uh, they also have a flat nasal bridge in their nose, a single palmer fold in their hand, protruding tongue due to a small oral cavity, faces flat and broad, they have a short neck, um, excessive space between the large toe and the second toe, um, like the one observed here in the picture. Now, let's apply um, what we talked about, the karyotypes um, in these, like in this figure. Let's observe, observe this karyotype together and see, is it a normal karyotype? Is it abnormal? Does it belong to a male or a female? So number one, this karyotype is character, characterized by having 46 chromosomes or 23 pairs. Um, definitely then it belongs to a human because when we talk about uh, number 46 in chromosomes, so this, this, this belongs to a human because in animals the number of chromosomes might be different and in plants, so, so it differs from one species to another. Um, it belongs to a female or male, let's check and look at the gonosomes here. So we have X and Y, they are not homologous, one is long and one is short, so it belongs to a male. Um, what is the chromosomic formula? Okay, since um, here, if we observe the pairs here and the copies of the chromosome, we notice that in chromosome number 21 we have a problem. We have an extra copy of chromosome number 21, which makes the chromosomic formula 47, comma, in between the brackets X and Y, then it belongs to a male. Um, is it a haploid cell or a diploid cell? So we said yesterday, when we have two copies of the chromosome, one that is maternal and one that is paternal, this makes the cell a diploid cell. Okay, let's move on and do another application. So here, what do we call the adjacent document that we have? The adjacent document is a karyotype. Um, how are the chromosomes arranged according to what characteristics? So we said yesterday chromosomes are arranged in pairs. This is number one. They're arranged in decreasing order from the largest to the smallest. This is number two. They are arranged in the same position of the centromere. This is number three. There are other characteristics where chromosomes are arranged as well. Um, does it belong to a human? Let's see if they are um, 46 or, or how many pairs we have, 23 pairs. So it means it does belong to a human. Now, is it normal or abnormal? Since when we observe chromosome number 21, we see three copies instead of two, this makes the stereotype abnormal. What is the name of this anomaly? When we see three copies of 21, it makes it um, its name, which is trisomy 21 or Down syndrome. The chromosomic formula here is 47, in between brackets, comma, X and X, and X sorry, it belongs to a female here. Um, is it belonging to a male? So we just answered that, no. Um, it belongs to a female, since we have two homologous chromosomes in the chromosome pair, which is number 23. Is it diploid or haploid? Also, we just did that, the question before, since we have two copies, and not only one copy from each chromosome, this makes it a deployed cell. Moving to another abnormality here, or abnormality, it's a gonosome abnormality from the title. What do we call the adjacent document? It's also a karyotype. How are the chromosomes arranged? Decreasing order, in pairs, 
any position of symmetry in here? Does it belong to a human? Well, yes, since we have 23 copies, 23 um, pairs of chromosomes, I mean, 23 copies. Does it belong to a human? Just this. Yes, is it normal? Let's observe the karyotype. So we look at the autosomes. All the autosomes are normal. Let's look at the gonosomes. We, instead of having two copies, we only have one. So there is a missing sex chromosome, which makes it, for, of course, abnormal. What's the name of this anomaly when we have only one copy of the X chromosome? Uh, this is Turner syndrome. What's the chromosomic formula? So here we have 45 chromosomes and not 46. So we write 45 comma X O. It means the second one is missing if in between brackets. Does it belong to a male or a female? Definitely um, she is a female because the absence of the Y chromosome makes uh, the person a female. Is it diploid? So since we have two copies from each chromosome, one that is paternal and one that is maternal, it makes it a diploid cell. Another karyotype. So let's directly observe the chromosomes to check out if they are, definitely they belong to a human because we have 23 pairs. The autosomes are um, normal, so the problem is in the gonosomes or the sex chromosome. We have X. XY, which makes um, this person abnormal. We have an extra X chromosome, so they are 47, comma, XXY. This is Klinefelter syndrome and the field sex. Now, this helps us in what? It helps us in comparing um, um, two karyotypes. When we say uh, compare um, karyotypes, in the official exams, when they ask you to compare, it means that we, have, we do have to write similarities and we do have to write differences, not only differences. Students think that when we need to differentiate or compare, we only need to, non differentiate is another thing, compare, we only need to write the difference. No, we have to write that both, for example, here in this question, both karyotypes um, have 23 pairs of chromosomes arranged in decreasing order, arranged in pairs and in same position of centromere. So, what is the difference between the first and the second karyotype? If we observe here, we just we start observing the karyotypes, we see oh, here is the problem. Uh, chromosome number eight and karyotype A has two copies, which is normal, whereas in karyotype B, the chromosome number eight has three copies instead of two. So this is the problem. Okay. Let us see this question now. What do we call the adjacent document? It's familiar now. We already know that is, it is called a karyotype. How do the chromo how are the chromosomes arranged? They are arranged in decreasing order, in pairs, and in same position of centromere. It doesn't belong to a human. Yes, it does. I'll provide my students with these questions and more activities in order to answer, but now I'm practicing with them the way they answer. I mean, I, I know that the questions are um, somehow repeating themselves, but it's a kind of practice. How are the chromosomes arranged? We said, and does it belong to a human? Also, we said it belongs to a human being, not another species. Is it normal now? Let's start observing. The autosomes are normal. Ah, we come to the gonosomes. We see that we have the three copies and not two, which makes it abnormal. Right, it's chromosomic formula. So here we have 47 chromosomes and not 46. 47 comma XXX. We have three copies of the X chromosome instead of two. Does it belong to a male? Definitely not. I cannot see any male here. I mean, 3x super. <laughs> is it diploid? Yes, it is diploid since we have two copies. No, why, why am I asking this question all the time? Is it diploid? Is it diploid? What do we mean by a haploid cell? We're going to discover this. So, um, another question. I will leave this you guys to think about it. If it's normal or abnormal and discover what uh, the anomaly is if there is an anomaly. We have the other application as well, and I will leave it for you. Now, I will let's compare these two karyotypes to observe what is the difference between karyotype A and karyotype B. Now, when I look at the number of chromosomes, I can see that the number of chromosomes in both karyotypes is the same. I mean, here we have 23 copies. Uh, 23, sorry, pairs, I mean 46 copies. 
And here we have 23 pairs, same number as well.